Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to all my lovely regular viewers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So this will be the second um, set that I've done in my autumn designs and it's going to be kind of like another salon length tutorial. So I'm using um, the ASP nail forms that you can buy from Sally's. Um, I would use these ones if clients are having shorter nails um, or maybe just to fix you know, a broken nail. Um, this would be the only time I would really use these ones. Um, if I'm doing any other types of sculpting, whether they be longer or extreme length, I always use the CJP ones. So because I'm using my hand dolly, I do have sellotape around the fingers just so that the forms have something to stick to. And if you are interested in buying a hand dolly, you can use my code L4 at checkout and that will save you 10%. As normal, all the acrylic I'm using today is from Glitter Bells, but I'm testing another product, um, which is Polished London, and you know how I absolutely love Acrogel. Um, well, this is very, very similar to Acrogel. Um, it's called their Gum Gel, and it is really, really good. You'll see what I'm talking about as we go through this video. And this is the gum gel from Polish London. It has come, I've only ordered the clear to begin with um, because I would normally just use the clear for sculpting out if um, clients were having a polish or anything on top. But it was 15 99 and it's for 60 grams. And it did come with the slip solution, whereas the nail nails is 19 99 for 30 grams. So you can work out the maths there. But the consistency of it and, you know, how you use it, it's exactly the same as the Nail Nails one. The only thing I will say about, I don't like their slip solution. It smells very, very strong. So I'm just using my um, normal jelly solution, but you can go ahead and you can use your alcohol or any other nail residue um, gel wipe or anything that you have. But it's so similar to Nail Nails. Um, you know, how you spread it down the nails and um, the thickness of it. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm in favour of it at the minute. Again, the good thing about the Acrogel is you have all the time that you need to perfect the shape before you cure it. Uh, so you can have it nice and flush at the cuticle. You can build up your apex and you can have your um, length and, sh and free edge shaped up before um, it starts to run everywhere if you were using gel or um, cured if you were using acrylic. So it has the best of both worlds. It has the strength of obviously the acrylic and of a builder gel, but it files like a gel. So for those of you that have used builder gels, you know what I mean when you're filing it. It just is so much softer to file with um, than acrylic. But if you do get a chance guys to use any Acrogel, both nail nails and this one, I would recommend. The only thing with this one though, is they've only got five colors, I think, which is a, a clear, a white, um, a pink. I think they've got a peachy one, so maybe it's only four colors, but hopefully they will get more. One thing though that is different with this Acro Gel compared to, or the Gum Gel, compared to the Nail Nails one. The Nail Nails one is cured in your LED lamp for 30 seconds. This one is 60 seconds. Or in a UV lamp, um, this one is three minutes. So you can see that when I've placed it on the nail, it has literally just stayed where I have placed it. If this was a poly gel or a normal gel, this would actually start to slide off the nail. But as I say, it's very, very similar to the nail nails one. Um, so it does stay put. I think, you know, in future, I will probably buy the clear in um, the, the polished London and not the clear in the nail nails because obviously I'm getting um, more than double well, double for less money. Um, I do love the colours though with the Nail Nails one and I do hope that Polish London do bring out an awful lot more colours in this brand.
And now that they're all cured, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the tacky layer, or the inhibition layer that's left behind uh, before I do start to file and shape them. So they do file really, really soft. You know, they're, it's not as hard to file as acrylic. Although um, with it being more like a gel, there is the dust particles are just slightly smaller. So there is more dust flying about in the air. So I would suggest either wearing a mask or have um, one of those dust extractors on your desk. So now that they've all been filed and shaped, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my acrylic application for my autumn set. So the red that I'm using is a new one that I got on my last Glitter Bells order and it's called Red Light District. It had been sold out for a while but now that it's back in stock, yay I got it. So it's very very pigmented so you can see that whenever I'm wiping out my brush you can see that the pigment has actually gone onto my desk tall. But it is so easy to use. It's really, you know, it's so nice. It flows really, really well. Oh, that's my dog's running because my husband's just <laughs> arrived home. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really nice color to use. So I've changed rooms. So the um the voiceover might sound a little bit different. So now that my husband's home, I've had to come down to my little studio and do it rather than sit in the living room. So on the index finger and the little finger, it's going to be full coverage of the red light district. This is a really very, very simple, easy beginner tutorial. Um, there's not much going on in it. There's a little bit of a cutout, but it's a very, very um, simple design to recreate. And again, like I said, just on the little finger is going to be another full coverage of this colour, Red Light District. Just a little touch up just there on the free edge of the pointer finger just before I move on. And then I'm gonna move on to the middle finger where I'm going to start the cutout. I am gonna be using one of my favorite glitters in the set, um, which is Broken Gold. So on the middle finger, I'm gonna go in with the red light district up at the cuticle area, and I'm gonna bring that down um, in a diagonal pattern. And then I will do a cutout so that I can um, get a really, really sharp edge. So on the, mi the middle finger here, I'm not actually gonna use my little tool to do the cutout. I'm just gonna do it with um, my brush and my hand file just to give me that really, really sharp edge that I can butt the broken gold up to. So sometimes, yes, I do refer to it as a cutout, even though I'm um, doing it with my file. It just means that we're doing a sharp edge and that we're, um, changing the colours throughout the nail just by um, more or less cutting it out. <laughs> but you don't always have to use a cutting tool. You can use your brush and a hand file. On the ring finger, I'm going in with one of my favourite colours from Glitter Bells of all time, and that is Broken Gold. So this is more or less going to be a full coverage of Broken Gold, but I am going to fade it out um, towards the free edge just so that it ends up more or less like a glass nail at the end. And I can see there's just a little bit of broken gold missing there up around the cuticle area. So I'm just going back in with another bead. Whenever I'm working with glitters or, you know, like the lights of the broken gold, I always prefer to lay the colour down first and then go in with the glitter. 
um, but I am going to have to go in with a little bit of the red light district after I've used the broken gold just on the middle finger whenever I do that little cut out. So I'm going to carry on with the broken gold and I'm just going to go do that little swishy movement that I do on the nails. I'm going to do that on the pointer finger and the little finger. Or maybe not on the little finger. Um, I do actually do the broken gold on the corner of the free edge and then again up on the top left hand side of the cuticle instead of that swishy movement. This is what happens you see whenever you do the voiceover, you know, a little bit after you've done the nails. So now I'm back on the middle finger and I'm going to be filing that line. So just before I do that, I'm going to just cover up my acrylic powder and my monomer just to make sure none of the dust gets in and contaminates them. So I've just taken my hand file and sharpened up the diagonal line that I've cut out. And now I'm going in with broken gold. Again, I am not using my little cutting tool. I'm just going to use my brush just to create that line. And then I will butt up the red light district up to the broken gold. I'm really, really liking how this um, red light district flows. It, it just goes on really, really smooth. So I'm quite pleased with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cap the nails in glass slippers. I'm only going to show one or two of them being capped though, just to keep the length of the video down. And again, just to keep the length of the video down, I did go ahead and I filed and shaped them off camera. And now I'm just giving them a quick wipe over before I apply my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. And because we've used a kind of glitter, we've used the broken gold, we should get that wow that you normally get when you apply the top coat over glitter.
And just before I cure that top coat, I'm going to go in with these little um, metal decals that I got off Amazon. Um, they, they're they just like little, is it little rivets? I'm not sure. But these ones here, they're like half horseshoes. So I'm only going to use one of them on the middle finger and I'm going to put it around the cuticle area. And then I'll add some other gold studs just to um, add a bit more detail. So they are shaped, you know, they're not flat, they're kind of curved so that um, they will fit along the cuticle area and obviously because our nails aren't flat, they do have that curve that will sit nice and flush um, to the nail. If you do find though that it isn't, you can just bend it slightly in your hands just to get it to sit flat. Alternatively, you can put on some Acrogel and you can cure it into the Acrogel or even some acrylic or a builder gel will do the same job. So now I'm just adding a few little um, gold studs and then I will add a little small rectangle just for a change. And onto the little finger and I'm going to use this little circle um, decal and I'm going to place one of the larger um, gold studs in the centre of it and then I'll add um, two triangular ones I think it is um, on either side of that at the top and the bottom. Here is the finished set guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If there's any videos you'd like to see me do or recreate, just pop them in the comments and I will try my best to do them for you. And I will see you all in the next one. So take care. See you soon. Bye.